Hello, 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 everybody. It is your girl, Brush, and I'm back with another video. So don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell button so you never miss a video when I do upload. And don't forget to share my videos wherever, whoever, so they know your rocks with your girl. Though. Shout out to my 112 subbies. Hey, my precious baby, my baby, boo. I love each and every one of you. If you're new here, hi, hello, and welcome. If you've been here before, what do you do, baby, boo, okay? Also, if you have been watching my channel but haven't subscribed yet, why not? It's a party. It's a vibe. 112 people rock with your girl. So, y'all go right ahead and rock with me too. And buttons and everything are down below. Also, don't forget to check the description bar down below where you will find all of my perfectly curated playlists that houses all of my previous content. We currently have episodes 1 through 3 up, okay, of season 11 of basketball wives so y'all please go run those numbers up like y'all did the first episode run those numbers up okay also don't forget that i am currently reviewing the series black cake on hulu um <clears throat> so y'all please go watch those reviews for episodes one two and three four and five they're all up episode six will be coming once i watch it i'm currently playing catch up with basketball wives also we're going to have Vlogmas videos uh, rolling out soon because Vlogmas is Vlogmas is upon us children. So without further ado, y'all, let's go ahead and get to this video of what you're watching. Review of Season 11, Episode 4 and 5 of Basketball Wives. So Episode 4 opens with, I want to say, um, Baby Bop and Barney, uh, letting uh Eveline know that they low key not feeling Clayana and how you know Jay just uh oh I feel like Clayana came in with like a nasty attitude and it's just like you know she was being defensive towards him at the skating rink but it's like y'all came at her sideways being dense by saying who are you and where you come from like we're not filming a reality television show like come on now like yes i do understand that technically <clears throat> she wasn't properly introduced to y'all and that falls on the master of mess and eveline and jackie old ass for not properly saying hey y'all this is clayana you know, she's new to the city, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, she's getting acclimated with the group. You know what I'm saying? Like, they dropped the ball there by not properly introducing y'all to her when the Master of Mess decided to have her little dinner situation she had when her friend decided to hawk out like she's the incredible goddamn hawk. After that, um, what happened? I want to say the girls... I'm not exactly sure remember what happened. But I do know that just still let everybody know that oh, Jennifer and Clayana, that's what happened. So Jennifer and Clayana decides to go sit down and talk to basically like figure out what's the thing. And so they get into it and Jennifer basically insinuates that Clayana is a side piece. So this further lets me know that Jennifer has smoke for her baby bop. <clears throat> Had smoke for Clay on it because she was insinuating that this girl was a side piece because her baby daddy Andre Igadawa is married. So these were the same, um, of course, questions that I had. So she clarified that you know her daughter is like twelve, and that Andre Igadawa and his wife got married a couple years ago. So she indeed was not the side piece. She kept you know letting it be known that her and Andre Igadawa. Uh, had a relationship when she was like 19, 20 or whatever the case may be. And so, you know, she was basically coming for a baby bop saying that, well, you know, who is your man, your ex-husband? How long y'all married for like two years and he's not relevant? And it's true. Don't nobody know Eric Williams or whatever Jennifer ex-husband name is. But, you know, it's like, Clayana, you need to calm down. But then it makes sense. That that's probably why she came in there very defensive because it was probably all all already this rumor swirling around that she was a side piece when in actuality she's not okay now i don't know if her andre the igadawa is like creeping around or whatever and so maybe that's what's going on but she 
kind of has smoke for Jennifer. So her and Jennifer, they're arguing, they're going back and forth. And so then Jennifer gets up and walks out. And so she follows Jennifer outside. And, you know, she gets to Jennifer face and she was like, girl, you better back up. And she pushed Jennifer. Now, mind you, you was in that lady's face. And I don't fuck with baby bop, but you got that lady's face and then you pushed her. And then Jennifer was like, oh, no, baby, I'm not doing this. Because, you know, Jennifer getting ready to call the police on her. Because one thing about Jennifer, that whole thing, she a rich white woman. And so <laughs> Jennifer was like, no, we're not doing this. She assaulted me. She put her hands on me. And I'm just saying, Jennifer, why you didn't bop that bitch in her head with your Kelly because bitch I'd have bopped that hoe this is self defense because she put her hands on me first and it is on camera and we have a plethora of motherfucking witnesses so after that um we see um Jackie and Barney and Evelyn together oh, that might have been an episode 5 no Jocel is with um Barney and they have a moment because Barney, who is Brooke, wants her to be like her hairstylist or whatever the case may be. And then she had this moment she started crying or whatever. Mm. Um, <laughs> so after that, we see that Jocelyn lets all the girls know that she wants to throw a dinner for her um for her fiance Natasha and her teammates when they come to town. And she don't want it to be like a messy situation and things of that nature. And so Jen baby Bob tells Jocelyn what happened between her and Kleana and so Jocelyn calls Kleana on FaceTime was like listen um I don't want it to be drama at my event so I kind of feel like you know you shouldn't come just in case it's going you know be some drama you know I hope you don't feel no way. and Kleana was like girl I'm grown I'm, I'm good or whatever and so like that was kind of like mm. so after that we see that um Baby Bop and her rental boyfriend uh, call themselves um, trying to get a puppy or whatever, and they wind up getting scammed. Um, Baby Bop and Evelyn, they back cool or whatever. And I think Baby Bop told Evelyn what happened between her and Kleana. Um, what else happens? Oh, Evelyn and that man sit down and have dinner, and she basically tells him she don't want to marry him. And, you know, he was like, you know, I understand or whatever, and we'll take it slow or whatever, you know, but that man could see that that heifer is a gold digging lion heifer. Also, we see that, um, I want to say Jackie and <clears throat> Vanessa hung out with their husbands, and oh, this might, that might have happened in episode five. So, after that, we see that all the girls go to the dinner event, um, that Jocelyn has. We see Jocelyn's fiance. And, you know, Jocelyn gives us the backstory of her and Natasha's relationship and the fact that they had met like a year ago. It was dating for four months. Next thing you know, Natasha asked her to marry her. Um, Natasha does very well with Jocelyn's son. And so at the event, you know, um, Baby Bop brings her rental boyfriend there. And Jackie's very happy that, you know, um, Baby Bop and Evelyn is back cool. Vanessa's there and, you know, Evelyn is telling them that she called off her engagement after Baby Bop noticed that Evelyn didn't have her ring on. And so she told the girl she called off her engagement or whatever. Now, the dum dum, Vanessa, she was just sitting there taking it all in, listening, you know, getting, um, getting all the tea, honey. After that, Natasha and her team shows up and, you know, they show everybody the girls are interacting. Then Barney shows up talking about where the men's at, bitch. Really? Go to fuck one. After that, um, what happens? At the end of this episode, I'm trying to figure out what happened. I'm not even sure what the hell happened at the end of this episode. Oh, <clears throat> I don't know if it was on this episode or episode five, because I'm going to have to tell you what happened in episode five. But I believe Vanessa did a background check on, um, oh, Baby Bob's boyfriend, rental boyfriend, was telling him about how many kids he had. He had, like, an almost one-year-old and an almost two-year-old, and that automatically had red flags for Dum Dum. And I was like, yeah, that's red flags for me, because these is fresh babies. So, um, <clears throat> so I think that's how it ended, 
however episode four ended i'm gonna be honest with y'all i wasn't really paying attention i'm just trying to get through these episodes because i know y'all like this show and it's been a minute since i watched it i'm just really trying to get through it but episode five episode four wasn't it didn't have a lot going on in episode four so episode five um because episode four was entitled who are you where did you come from and so episode uh five is called cooking with fire <clears throat> so episode five we um let me just tell you how i remember it so shit i don't think it's gonna let me skip no 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 that's not the episode i want I think at one point Brittany oh I don't know if it was I think it was the episode four where all the newbies sat down and they talked and you know they were talking about what happened at the ice skating ring after Brittany's party and how you know not everybody liked how um Brooke acted with her big ass and so And so, um, so in episode five, we see, I'm going to tell you how I remember it. So in episode five, we see that Jackie and Dum Dum decide to cook and throw like a meal situation, you know, for their husband. So we finally see Doug on the scene and, you know, we realize that Jackie and Vanessa really don't know how to cook. Vanessa also winds up telling us that she did, um, a background check on Baby Bob's a boyfriend and that he actually has an older child he had been to jail he had changed his name and i'm just like well damn bitch you are here in just everybody's business so of course you know jackie eat that shit up because she getting running ready to run back and tell this to people because you know jackie is somebody you can't really trust i'm sorry jackie is an old bitch you can't trust as far as you can see her um I think episode five is when we see Jaseel and uh, Brooke. Also, um, Evelyn talks to her ugly daughter. And she talks to her about her and Jennifer becoming cool again. And you know, her daughter was like, you know, I just feel like the fact that she called you an unfit mother. I mean, a lot of things can be true. Evelyn's a whore and she's an unfit mother. Um, you know what I'm saying? I don't fuck with it, so that's just me. Um, so, then we see Eveline, Baby Bop, and Jackie all go hang out together. And I'm sick of, uh, not Baby Bop, Barney go hang out together. And I'm sick of Barney walking around with these slippers on her feet. Yeah, it ain't Louis Vuitton or whatever, but baby, why is you walking around with these slippers on your feet? That's just taking me. Um, um, after that, I think this was the episode we saw that all the girls go sit and talk or whatever. And I think that it might be the last episode or this episode, but I know that Jocelyn and Clayana kind of get got into it. And I, like I said, I feel like Clayana has like a chip on her shoulder because. You know, there's rumors swirling around that, you know, the girl is, like, a side piece. And it also could be because of, you know, just the way she was brought into the fold. And nobody has really been, like, interactive with her correctly for my liking. Uh um. So, like I said, Jackie and Dum Dum decide to do a cooking class. And so then Jackie tells Evelyn and Barney... So, um, after Jackie calls, uh, Baby Bob, she basically tells her, hey, I want to do, like, a cooking class with all the girls, and Baby Bob was like, well, who all gonna be there? And Evelyn was like, I told you, and so she was like, I want to invite everybody, that includes Clayana, and, you know, Baby Bob was like, look, I don't want to be around that girl, or whatever the case may be, like, I really don't want to have nothing to do with her like leave me alone so she's like all right cool so after that we see um <clears throat> all the girls 
get there and you know um Jocelyn kind of feels some type of way about Clay out of because you know they got into it when the the newbies had their like bow wow in the bark or whatever and so um Barney gets there Vanessa's there Jocelyn's there Clayana shows up and then Brittany shows up and so apparently when Brittany got there she said that Clayana had texted her and said that Barney was talking shit about her I wasn't paying attention she might have been and so you know the girls are sitting there they're cooking they're talking and Jackie lets them know that she wants to throw like a girl trip type situation and you know uh Barney was like yeah you know Jackie your type of girl trip sometimes don't go right and then they showed the last girls trip that Jackie threw when she had them turn out there in the desert and Joshua tree or some shit and so <clears throat> uh Barney was like but y'all know my birthday also coming up and you know her daughter God rest her soul wants her to be able to celebrate her birthday and Jackie was like well me and Vanessa are gonna like co um a co throw the girls trip party whatever the case may be and that that's whatever so of course we see that um Barney prays over the food or whatever and so Brittany was like yeah no I'm not gonna eat this food because Barney didn't pray over it and Barney got like a nasty attitude and bad spirits or whatever and after that I think all of them get up and leave or whatever and so we see that um Brittany and Clayana sitting there and Clayana and Brittany both kind of like got an attitude with Jocelyn because they feel like Jocelyn is being fake and phony to them and like instead of her really being neutral she low-keyed and picked the side already and it's like well first of all she don't know y'all and y'all don't really know her but if y'all was supposed to be like in this alliance of the newbies and everybody you know trying to be cordial with one another then Clayana really gotta fix her attitude because Clayana just be like rah rah pow pow and shit and it's just like that that ain't okay little mama like that's that's not what it is like you I just realized I have my my earpiece set you got to get yourself together because that's not okay that you sitting here um I have like a nasty attitude with everybody or whatever the case may be so You having like a nasty attitude with everybody like that's not okay i'm gonna be honest with y'all i don't remember how episode five ended either um <clears throat> i'm be honest like i'm trying to get through these episodes y'all but it's just like these heifers is working on my nerve like baby bob and barney really on some mean girl type shit and it's just like Y'all bitches is too old for this. Clayana really does have a nasty attitude, and I do not understand what's her problem. Like, is it because you and Andre Godawa might be low key fucking around, or people assuming you? Like, what is your problem? Like, something ain't right with Clayana. And I don't like her when she first, like, I don't like. I don't know this lady, but I do not like Clayana. I can't stand, I can't stand Baby Bop and Barney. Um, Jackie Loki always been messy, so it's always been a hit or miss for her. Vanessa Loki, after the first episode, she kind of decided to be tamed a little bit. Oh, I know she, uh, Jackie and Vanessa talked about, um, telling Jennifer about <clears throat> her finding, um, all this information out about Jennifer's runner boyfriend. And Jackie was like, look, I don't want it to seem like it's a setup or we trying to come at her any type of way or whatever. But, you know, Vanessa was like, I really want you to be there when I do decide to start this business. Even though I think in the next episode, um, Brooke and I think Eveline go to her. And I do think that um, somebody going to tell, I think Jocelyn going to be the one to tell Evelyn that Vanessa told her that she wasn't engaged anymore but yeah y'all that is all that is it that's all I remember these bitches are bothering my spirits that's why it took me so long to get y'all these reviews now I'm gonna go and watch episode six and seven so I can bring you those reviews and be done with these bitches until Monday 
All right, y'all. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell button so you never miss a video when I do upload. Don't forget to share my videos wherever, whoever, so they know you're rocks with your girl. I love y'all. Bye.